Welcome back to AM Northwest. Our next guest is a prolific true crime writer whose latest book delves into a case he first encountered 30 years ago, a case that has haunted him ever since. Here to share some of the story, we welcome the author of The Amish Wife, Unraveling the Lies, Secrets, and Conspiracy that Let a Killer Go Free. Greg Olson. Greg, good to see you again. Hey, it's great to see you. It's been a long time. Been a long time. You know, this case I saw many years ago on television, I could not believe it. It's absolutely fascinating on so many levels. But well, what attracted you to this case? In the very beginning when I was, I was a young man, I was like 32, 33 when this first happened and I had little kids and the idea of a little child left in a ditch in the middle of Nebraska, you know, dead in blue pajama sleeper, just kind of tugged at my heart. I never could forget it. Who would do that? And it turned out, of course, it was an Amish man named Eli Stutzman. And once I found out it was an Amish guy, it's like I was all in on doing a book. Well, because he was very different. I mean, he, he lived a secret life. He, so tell us That's about right. that. Because it all actually starts with the death of his wife. Right. right? His wife, Ida, dies in a mysterious barn fire. Um, Eli was, you know, I say he's a gay Amish serial killer. Yeah. Some people say, well, are, is the gay Amish a sect of the Amish? And I said, no. <laughs> no. He was a gay man who was married and had a, a little uh, child and his wife was pregnant and he didn't want it anymore. He wanted to be out and do other things. So she dies in a barn fire. Um, she was 26 years old. She was seven months pregnant. He tells people a wild story about how he saw lightning hit the barn and later that night it burned down and you know she had a bad heart all these things were a bunch of lies yeah but he got away with it he got away with it because he was involved with the sheriff at that time who was also gay so there was a conspiracy a cover-up and then of course later tragedy happens when he takes his little boy danny out of the amish community and the boy ends up dead in that ditch in nebraska so it's a big twisted story with three other bodies, one in which he was convicted for murder of his roommate down in Texas. So there's a lot of things about this man. There's a lot of secrets and there are a lot of lies. And I feel really like I've solved the crime and I want to bring justice to Ida Gingrich, who is Amish. She's not a faceless Amish doll. Right. She's a real woman who deserves justice. Well, at the time, there was a lot of controversy uh, about Ida's death because even her doctor said uh, when Eli tried to say it was a heart attack, uh, her doctor said, no, that's just not true. Yeah, absolutely. But the, the coroner at the time and the uh, sheriff were very tight. They were like father and son. And it's my belief, and I have seen the documentation to prove it, that the autopsy results were altered. And he wrote down um, accidental death uh, due to heart failure. So why was he able to get away with things for so long? Was it his connections? This is the thing that's so interesting about it. When you think about how the world has changed in 30 years, among the Amish and among the LGBTQ groups, they're not, you know, it's not a secret anymore. Things that have happened in the past that you wouldn't talk about, now we are more open about things. So yeah. I feel like that, like when I went back and talked to some of those, you know, those men that I had talked to years ago, who were living like a, a quiet, closeted, secret life, they're all married now to guys. So they're all, that part's changed. They don't have right. to hide that. And the Amish too, I think because we are so interested in them, they are, are taking a little bit more of what we do in the world to heart. And that is justice and speaking up for the truth, even though you know it's against the rules, but they feel it's not quite right to keep a secret like that. Well, in, in, the, in the death of Ida, I felt like uh, women weren't able to speak freely, and a lot of the women had suspicions to begin with because they knew Ida was being, was being treated terribly by her husband. That's right, and I think that's, that's kind of a key to the whole thing. I believe now um, there have been stories about you know, Amish abuse among uh, um, men and boys uh, basically molesting Amish girls. That's a big thing right now. It's getting a lot more light on it. I think women are learning to speak up. They still defer to their husbands. They still want to do the things that the church says, but I think they're not going to take it anymore, and that's a really good thing. Yeah, absolutely. So tell me about who you talked to to get more information uh, on this case and the, the serial cases, I mean, a number of the cases. Yeah, I mean, I went back to a lot of the same people that I had seen all those years ago. You know, and it's funny, like I was, you know, 33, now I'm 65, so it's been a long time. We're all older which is weird to like go back to a story, you know, and right. and see people again. 
but you could see that, you know, so I, I, I went over some of that ground again, but also this is the day and age of the internet and requesting documents online. And before I didn't have the internet, I had to go in person to the record centers and all of that to get content. And you, you know, I'm there staying in a motel and I'm only there staying a few times because I'm a young person with not a lot of money. Right. But now, you know, all of those records, I can get them online. I can call people. I can find out stuff that, you know, and I can be a little bit patient too, because for some of it, it takes like a year to get the records, but I can get things now that were not available before. And that really helped a lot. You also talked to a former roommate of Eli's, uh, Dan Miller, right? Did you learn right. a lot about him from the, I mean, and we also want to say Eli has since uh, killed himself. That's right. He yeah. killed himself after he, w he served time in prison mm -hmm. for killing his roommate down in Texas. And then shortly after that, he did, when he got out, he, um, he did commit suicide. Um, Dan Miller, you know, Dan Miller was living there. He saw some strange things. He believes that Danny, the little boy, was being sexually abused by his father. Um, Dan also, you know, was kind of naive and, and sort of, well, like he would be. He's an Amish guy. He's never been out in the world, and he's 17 years old. Eli takes him to a gay bar up in Cleveland and, you know, then takes picks up this guy, and Dan is thinking, I don't know what's going on here. I don't know what's going on, but I want to get out of here. And Dan said also there were times when he felt Eli was threatening his life. Wow. Wow. What, was there anything you, the, what is the conclusion for you? Well, the conclusion for me and the hope for me on all of this is that, and I do have a change.org petition going, I want Wayne County to own up to what they did. It's not anybody's fault that's, you know, in the sheriff's department now or in the coroner's office, but it's time for them to step up and amend that death certificate and say that it was a homicide or at least a suspicious death because that's what it was. And so that's the end game for me. I'm hoping people will join me and support this idea. She's an Amish woman, but she's not a blank slate. She was loved. Right. She, she was a mom. She was a sister and all that. And I think it's just crap that it's just like it's swept under the rug. Yeah. And we don't do anything about it. So let's, you know, that's what I want. Yeah. I really want And that's Wayne, to Wayne County is in Ohio, correct? That's right. All right. We want to tell everyone the book again is called The Amish Wife, Unraveling the Lies, Secrets, and Conspiracy That Let a Killer Go Free. Greg Olson, thank you so much. Great to see you again. All right. Next time in person, okay? Absolutely. All right. All we'll right, be right back now. with more AM Northwest. Don't go away.